Hello everyone! I have been living alone for the first time in my life and I wanted to share with you a few things I do to avoid loneliness. Prior to moving, I've lived in several different apartments with different apartment mates and I'd always have to be mindful of when I could film for my videos. Now I can film and talk to the camera whenever I feel like it without worrying about disrupting anyone, but living alone definitely has its challenges too. I'm used to doing things by myself, but there are a few things that help me avoid feeling lonely. The first thing I do is I tend to fill the silence in my apartment. So whether that is playing BTS music videos or I'm watching Korean dramas, I find that I am constantly filling my space with some type of noise, or it could be my voice while I'm recording or editing videos. Next, I clean a lot. Especially because now I live on my own, I know that everything that's out of place is actually my responsibility. So I make sure to put everything back where it belongs and I'm always resetting my apartment and making it look super clean and tidy. There's actually a running joke in adulthood where you are constantly cleaning the kitchen no matter what. So even if you get takeout or whether you cook, we will always be cleaning our kitchen. I feel like I'm a very clean person, but my fiance said I prefer things to be spotless and I don't disagree. Although I fill my schedule with a lot of busy work and a lot of to-do lists, I want to remind us that feeling lonely is actually an internal feeling and no amount of distractions can really address it until we feel comfortable with the idea of being physically alone. If we feel lonely, perhaps we feel unsafe or unloved. And that's when we need to remind ourselves of our truths. We are all here for a purpose. We are indeed loved, even if we don't feel like it sometimes. And we are uniquely made because there is no one else exactly like you. Now that I have reset my kitchen and it is squeaky clean, it's time for me to clean my shoes. So because I already washed all of my clothes, I'm going to stick in my shoes into the washing machine next. Oh yeah, cause that is not clean. I like to scrub off any excess dirt because it makes it easier for the washing machine to clean it really nicely. I also threw in a couple of these shoes and they're as good as new. Ta-da, all clean. I like to leave my washer open so that all the water dries and I leave this open too. Today's sponsor is Narwhal. It's the first self-cleaning robot mop and vacuum that offers a hands-free cleaning experience. The vacuum has a really strong suction power and it has side brushes instead of roller brushes to reduce hair entanglement because your girl sheds a lot. I kept the docking station right next to my kitchen so it's really convenient. And with one click, you can make the robot vacuum, mop, build a map, and return home. There is also a water tank to wet the mop and Narwhal also has two rounded triangle mops that rotate three times per second and applies pressure for deep cleaning so there are no stains left behind. I'm going to add this little detergent to make it smell all nice and fresh. The robot will go back to its station if the mop gets dry and it can auto detect the mop's dirtiness so it'll also self clean before it resumes where it left off. The mop also dries automatically. Very smart robot. There is an app that shows you how Narwhal maps out your space. So the robot uses LiDAR navigation pairing, also with an LSD laser mapping algorithm and SLAM algorithm, which allows the robot to map your home intelligently. I've noticed it also goes over rugs and bumps really easily. It also has cliff sensoring to ensure it won't go flying off any edges. When it knocks into something, the sensors direct the robot to a different route. So I feel like this is a little robot buddy. So make sure to check out Narwhal and get one of these too if you're looking for a robot vacuum and a mop. Another thing I do to avoid loneliness, especially early in the morning, is I like to read. I've shared this in my other videos, but I really like to get out of my own head because I find that when I'm thinking too much about myself, I tend to get really overwhelmed. So I like to focus on other people's thoughts and then I'll self-reflect and think, how do I feel about that? That way, all I'm thinking about is whatever I had just read so that my mind doesn't flow away into other spaces. Also, always remembering that God is with me and I don't have to be afraid and I don't have to feel lonely because he is always here and he is always with me. I keep myself really busy and I have a really impacted schedule, but one of the things I love to do that really gets me out of my own head is working out. 
Even if I work out by myself, it's a time for me to know that I am taking care of my body. We are off. Woo! Finished my workout, was able to run 2.15 miles today, and I was actually worried about something that's going on in my apartment. Immediately as I was running, I started thinking about it, and I was thinking, is it gonna be okay? Like, is there something I need to do? And then I quickly stopped myself, and I said, hey, I'm in a workout class. I'm not gonna allow this worry to rob the time that I have set up for myself to take care of my body and to really just be present. And whatever I'm worried about, it's still going to be there after class. So me thinking about it during my workout, out is just stealing more of my time. Blocked it off, did my workout, feeling great. I do have to go into work a little later today, so I'm gonna rush back home. I am going to make my lunch before I head out to work. I have these fully cooked falafels, some pita bread, and then some hummus and guacamole. When I was in my early 20s, I definitely felt a lot lonelier than I do now. And the biggest change was that I am now very comfortable in my own skin and I am comfortable being with myself. A wet brush, so specifically made for when your hair is wet. We are not getting any younger except some blog helps the most with anti-aging. <laughs> Yum! All toasted. Welcome to Smoothie Time with Maya. Today we are going to do a simple banana chocolate shake. I personally do not really like chocolate, but chocolate protein powder, I don't mind. A fresh banana instead of a frozen banana. Back into your home. Don't worry about the color. This is all about flavor and fueling our bodies. I will not spill. Life behind me, I have robotics kits, 3D printers, more robotics, and all these computer servers. In my early 20s, I also felt like I had a lot more time than I do now. And so there was a lot of time for me to feel like I was lonely because I would see all of these other people doing all of these fun things. But as I get older, I definitely value quality friendships over quantity. And it's all about making sure you have a community of people who are going to support you. And even if you don't see them every single day or you only see them once a month, you know that they love you and you know that they're there. After work, I tutored until 5 o'clock, then I got my eyebrows done, then I got lasering done in my bikini line. But I got into my Tesla because I have to charge it and make sure that it's ready for the weekend. But I wanted to show you guys something cool. So imagine you're driving and you cut someone off, right? You cut someone off and then you hear Jim and go... Excuse me! And then Jen goes... So then you come out of the car and Jungkook says And last but not least <laughs> It's the little things in life It is now 7.20 p.m. These are unfortunately the days I don't feel like cooking or eating healthy in the sense that I don't have time to make anything because I just want to eat right now. I left my house this morning at 7 o'clock exactly and it is now 12 hours later. I am such a big proponent of maximizing my days but that ends up being my downfall in the sense that I'm always borderline late to everything. I am always right on time because I have scheduled everything back to back to back. But thankfully I did everything I needed to do today. I'm going to go find some food. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I hope these videos motivate you. Bye!